10. The Mackenzie Valley Wolf Among the world of canids, which includes wolves and dogs and other dog-like creatures, many people agree that there is no wolf more impressive than the legendary Grey Wolf. But what a lot of people don't know is that when talking about grey wolves, people are actually talking about many different animals. It's true that the grey wolf is the largest type of wolf in the world, but there are literally dozens of subspecies. The five largest wolf subspecies are all grey wolves, including the biggest of them all, the Mackenzie Valley Wolf. This wolf is the leader of the pack known scientifically as Canis lupus octodentalis. It gets its common name from the Mackenzie River Valley in Canada, where these massive beasts roam free and where they are most frequently spotted. The average Mackenzie Valley wolf can weigh around 175 pounds, or 80 kilograms, making it by far the heaviest and heavier than most humans. They have stronger limbs, they have bigger lungs, and they have a seriously powerful bite. Despite being the largest, the Mackenzie Valley Wolf is exceptionally rare to see. Only around 10,000 of them have ever been recorded in the wild. They have smaller packs than other types of grey wolves and live throughout the vast and unpopulated regions of Canada and Alaska. Number 9. Great Plains Wolf Moving south from the home of the Mackenzie Valley Wolf, we have the Great Plains Wolves, which are quite a bit smaller at only 110 pounds or 50 kilograms and between four and a half and six and a half feet, one and a half to two meters in length. Still, these are ferocious pack animals. They roam throughout the United States and the southern regions of Canada, primarily near the Great Lakes. They have packs of between five and six wolves, with the dominant male and female in charge of the entire pack. But believe it or not, we nearly lost the Great Plains wolf altogether. In the 1930s, the Great Plains wolves were nearly extinct in the western United States. It wasn't until 1974 that they became a protected species on the endangered list. Luckily, just four years later, their numbers started to rebound, and by 2007, they were removed from the endangered species list. There are now estimated to be over 4,000 of these animals scattered throughout the U.S. As is typical of other wolves, the Great Plains wolf has fantastic hearing, sight, and smell, and they travel on average at 5 miles per hour, or 8 kilometers per hour, for as many as 10 hours a day, covering upwards of 40 miles or 60 kilometers on a single hunt. You're highly unlikely to ever witness a Great Plains wolf in the wild, even if you live in the same area as a pack. They simply aren't interested in crossing paths with most humans, and they tend to stay far away from us. That's for the best, as an encounter between an unarmed human and a pack of these animals would end very badly for the poor human. Number 8. Yuki the Wolf Dog By far one of the coolest wolves around today is actually a wolf dog. A wolf dog is a cross between a dog and a wolf essentially tying together two threads of the family tree that separated thousands of years ago, when domesticated dogs split from wolves. With that in mind, meet Yuki. This huge, adorable, and wildly friendly wolf dog had DNA that tested as 87.5% Grey Wolf, 8.6% Siberian Husky, and 3.9% German Shepherd. He was as close to a wolf as a wolf dog can be, and he had an incredible story like you wouldn't believe. Yuki was rescued from a horrible situation. Someone had purchased this sweet wolf pup from a breeder, then abandoned him at just eight months old when he became too much to handle. Luckily, the good people at the Shy Wolf Sanctuary took Yuki in, and he became a beloved member of the family. He weighed around 120 pounds, or 55 kilograms, and played a critical role in raising awareness about the plight of abandoned dogs, gaining international fame in 2018, when his photos went viral for his resemblance to the dire wolves from Game of Thrones. Ultimately, Yuki passed away in 2020 at the ripe old age of 13. He died in his sleep while inside his enclosure, according to the Shy Wolf Sanctuary. But considering this huge wolf dog started life as an abandoned puppy and died an international celebrity, he had a pretty good life. Have you ever seen a wolf dog? What do you think of them? Do you want one? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to Taltanic if you haven't already. We have more videos like this coming soon. Number 7. Eurasian Wolf The Eurasian wolf, just like the Mackenzie Valley wolf, is one of the largest species in the world. According to Active Wild, 
It's one of 37 recognized subspecies of gray wolf. It's also the largest type of wolf found outside of the American continents. This proud and vicious animal once roamed all throughout Europe, but with the rise of cities and civilization, they have been forced into hiding. There are now only a few isolated groups, primarily in Scandinavia, Poland, and Romania, as well as around 30,000 of them roaming the sparse wilderness of Russia. But how do you tell a Eurasian wolf apart? Well, these huge predators have grayish-brown coats and light gray hair on their bellies. Oh, yeah, and they are monstrously huge. The maximum a Eurasian wolf can weigh is between 150 and 175 pounds, that's 70 to 80 kilograms. And finally, they have remarkable howls. The Eurasian wolf howls longer and louder than their American counterparts, able to raise every last hair on the back of your neck. Number 6. Man and Wolf You may think that dogs are a man's best friend, but what about wolves? If you asked the Russian man who recently posted a video of him and his best friend, who happens to be an utterly enormous black Canadian wolf, what he thought about the old proverb, he would probably tell you it's nonsense. But then again, he's friends with an unbelievable giant wolf. It's so large that it could easily take a bite out of his head without breaking a sweat. And yet, the two play together, like the wolf were nothing but an ordinary golden retriever. The wolf's name is Akella and it's unclear how exactly the man and his wolf became friends. But the pair seem to get along well enough, as hard as that is to believe. Still, despite their seemingly friendly relationship, there is always the chance that the wolf could snap at any minute and bite off the man's leg. This is one of those precarious situations that comes with befriending a wild animal. Number 5. Tundra Wolf the Alaskan tundra wolf is arguably the most gorgeous wolf in the world. No, it's not the biggest. But yes, it is hard to believe that such a beautiful creature is still roaming freely through the United States. This stunning creature lives primarily in Alaska and near the Arctic tundra region. It's closely related to the Great Plains wolf, similar in skull size, tooth morphology, and weight. But what sets the tundra wolf apart from others is its fantastic coat of white fur. The tundra wolf is as white as an arctic fox, only way, way larger. It likely developed its white fur in the same way the polar bear did, by beating out the animals in the arctic region that had darker fur by blending into the snow better, and thereby surviving and passing down the genes that give it white hair. This is why the snowier the region is, the whiter the animals are. It's all about blending in and surviving. For us humans, though, it makes those animals look unique and special, with exceptional beauty. Number 4. Gigantic Killer Wolf Our next wolf is nearly too monstrous to believe. According to a recent report from The Sun, there was a gigantic wolf terrorizing a village in the south of Russia. The local reports claimed that this huge beast caused a massive amount of chaos, ravaging over 20 cows, sheep, and horses in just a single month. Either this huge wolf hated livestock or had an insatiable hunger. But whatever the reason, the wolf was on a bloodthirsty rampage. It went on killing until one night when it was spotted in the community graveyard. The hunter then tracked and shot the beast before hauling it back to town, where he was praised as a hero by the frightened locals who feared for the lives of their children. Believe it or not, this is actually a significant fear in rural Russia killer wolves. They even used helicopters to track and kill the animals, despite animal rights activists trying to put an end to the senseless violence. Because of course, not all wolves are giant beasts that ravage horses and cattle. And besides, maybe the farmer should do a better job of locking up their animals. Wolves are only doing what they need to survive. Well, most of them anyway. Number 3. The Largest Wolf Pack in the winter of 2010, a Russian town was apparently terrorized by a giant super pack of wolves that numbered in the 400s. This is absolutely insane, considering most wolf packs are less than 10. The small town of Verkoyansk only had a population of 1,300, leaving them dangerously vulnerable to such a large pack of rampaging wolves. The animals apparently killed at least 30 horses in only 4 days on their mad feeding frenzy. It took a full team of hunters to regain control over the town, patrolling its neighborhoods day and night and shooting any wolves on sight. But even though this is an official record for the largest wolf pack in the Guinness World Records, some animal experts are suspicious. The maximum any wolf pack ever gets is 15, and so the reports of 400 
seem downright outrageous. But if the harsh winter really did kill off most of their usual prey, different packs may have converged on the Russian town in an attempt to feed. Number 2. Dire Wolf there is no animal that wolf lovers love discussing more than the legendary dire wolf. First of all, no, these are not fictional animals from a fantasy book. Dire wolves were indeed real, and they were indeed huge. They were more muscular than the gray wolves we have today. They were heavier by about 25%, weighing upwards of 175 pounds, or 80 kilograms. They also had broader bones and a more powerful bite. By analyzing skeletal remains from these huge wolves, scientists were able to determine that they could bite with 129% the force of wolves living today. However, out of all things, their legs were quite a bit smaller. The dire wolf was a stocky animal, and likely much slower than many common wolves. At this point, you're probably wondering what such large and ancient animals ate. Well, apparently they liked horses. Scientists discovered that dire wolves had a primary diet of horses, but sometimes ate mastodons, prehistoric camels, and even giant ground sloths. Number 1. Rescue Wolf Last on the list for today is a wolf story to warm the heart. Workers in the European country of Estonia were shocked when they spotted what they assumed was a large dog trapped inside an icy river while working at the local dam. The workers quickly cleared the ice, rescued the pup, and got it to the clinic for care. It wasn't until they arrived at the clinic and the veterinarians got a look at their dog that it was no dog at all, but actually a huge and very cold wolf. According to the report from the BBC, the wolf had low blood pressure, which was probably why it let the men handle it the way they did. It turned out to be a young male wolf, only a year old. It still had a lot of growing to do. The nice people at the clinic treated the unnamed wolf until it was healthy again, at which time it became a whole lot less friendly, and then released it back into the wild. Have you ever seen a wolf in the wild? Let me know your stories in the comments. Thanks for watching, be sure to hit the subscribe button, and come back soon for another fantastic video.